see you, you again. Great to see you. Well, you two look like you have a beautiful relationship, and I work with my husband pretty much 24-7. That's great. And I'd like to know, because of this project, um, because of, you know, this is a personal project, what was it like going home to bed as you were making this? What, what were the conversations like? It was a rough time just only because I just had twins two weeks before we started filming in the house. So for me there was a little bit more of the vulnerability of like not being ready to be on camera necessarily but I think because the objective of the film was to make something that could make some sort of change or help assist um, people with something that we feel very strongly about. Um, I think that it, it's pretty easy to look past your own insecurities and issues when you're, you know, working for something outside of yourself that feels like a greater purpose. So, you know, I think all we could hope for is that this film can, you know, help the families who have grieved these kinds of losses and people that are trying to figure out how to deal with, um, you know, their LGBTQ youth and how to respond to what their needs are and how to accept and love. And that's what we're kind of working towards. You know, I have a friend who actually left the church, the Mormon church, because his children, he had some children that were gay, they had uh, friends that were gay, and they just couldn't, you know, they just couldn't stand by it. But, they're, but of course, they you know, still have their faith. So do you feel that God has given you this platform? Because, you know, initially maybe it was like music is the way to go, and that was your gift, that was your purpose in life. And now you have this platform and you're really making an impact. You're, you're starting a movement here to have these conversations. Do you feel that that's part of your purpose or God's plan for you? You know, I don't, I, I'm different day to day. There's days that I feel like maybe I don't know if there is a God and there's days that I am, hey, is the director gone? Oh, hey. <laughs> and there's days that I'm, you know, that, I, that I'm praying, you know? And so I like anyone else, I'm on my own journey. And as for youth, um, I would never tell them, you know, whether or not they should leave religion or be in religion because that can put them in actually a more dangerous spot than they're already in. Um, my only hope is that uh, we learn to love and give total acceptance to our gay youth. And total acceptance means that when they ask, hey, does God see me as sinful or dirty, your answer is absolutely not. Uh, God sees you as beautiful and your love is valid and perfect. And, perfect. and if you're not telling your child that, we have research that shows that they are eight times more likely to take their life. So knowing that, what parent is ever going to not give their child full acceptance? And I know the love of a parent. I have three kids. And so I could never understand having that conversation and knowing that you're putting your child eight times more likely. And it sounds like you know, it sounds like a heavy thing to say, but this this is just, these are the facts. And so we need to change. Yeah. Well, thank you for showing your love and thank you for being here tonight and thank doing this film. Yeah.